What's going on? Move the Mouse here back in City Skylines, the town of Springdale, with our Let's Play Season 4, Episode Number 2. And as I described in the previous episode, this is going to be a very basic build to start out. We're doing very much a grid system, which may be disappointing to some of you looking for more of a looser suburb or European feel. But what I'm eventually looking to accomplish in this season is kind of a massive downtown area, sort of stylized after Manhattan. And we're going to build a massive Central Park into it. With Park Life coming out fairly soon, hopefully for consoles, I wanted to have kind of a really dedicated space. And I liked the Central Park that I built in my last town, but I want to make this one even larger to really give us room to mess around with some of the Park Life assets and props. So we're going to focus on this relatively flat map. We're going to build kind of a massive grid here that's going to extend all the way down to the water. We'll probably bring it over... Um, to that side as well and uh, and fill in some of this flatter space on this side of the river and this side of the highway and then we can get a little loose with it as we expand up towards the north up that way but what we're trying to do now is just kind of grow the city as fast as we can get through the major milestones the next one is at 2600 so not too far off we'll keep stamping our grid out and uh, I'll start to kind of explain um, the, the pattern that I'm going for, but it'll really come together as we unlock the, uh, the high density commercial and residential zoning. So I've been spacing these out every 11 units, which gives us a little bit of room in between. You can see here there's that one square we could cram some footpaths into if we needed. Ideally, you'd want to leave two so you don't have to nitpick too much, but if we have to move, you know, a business here or there out to get some footpaths through here. That's not that's not the end of the world. Um, I am going to start extending this way as well as we build these networks out so that we hopefully don't have to move out too many businesses like that in the process. So let's come down two more blocks. So we did that one. We'll go down one more here. Again, 11 units all the way down to the end. Get that connected. And we'll do the same thing over here. We'll just bring this out here. So that's 30 units of spacing. We're eventually going to have north to south avenues that really kind of connect everything. This main one is going to be a two-way for now. And then we'll alternate north to south, south to north on uh, the major avenues. And then every 10 streets or so... We're going to have bi-directional six-lane avenues everywhere else alternating two-way one-way roads again we'll it'll really start to come together um, as i start to build that out but this is kind of just laying the framework and the groundwork for all of that future expansion so let's get back to zoning over here we will want to do water and i'll break out my selection tool for this one as so we want to have all of our residential area kind of tucked in over here by the waterfront Let's look at our electricity. We'll jump that up to 90, and I think that will solve our water problem. Let's see. Oh no, we could increase our water budget too. Knock it up a bit. And we'll finish our zoning with the fill tool. Let's take a look at our elementary school coverage. So we're staggering these kind of every other block or so. So an empty block here, school on the other side, empty block here, school on this side. And that should give us some pretty good green coverage all the way around. We do want education to be a forefront of this city, just like the last, because I want to do a lot of office space more than industrial, and they need educated workers for those jobs. So. Definitely something that we want to keep focused on is the education needs of the city. We're almost at that 2600 milestone. So again, let me fast forward here and uh, we'll talk about what we unlock at the 2600 population milestone in just a moment. So here we are, we've unlocked our first transport options in the form of bus and taxi. We've got some more policies we can implement and we've also got access to highways, which is fantastic because we'll want to start building some new 
uh, routes around this major downtown area. We've also unlocked cemeteries, very important. So let's go ahead and start dropping some of those things in. Let's take a look at cemetery coverage first because I would like to see, it's just, just too wide this way for uh, that particular zoning, but it does fit here and then we can dezone that backside. Let's see, how far up does that cover? It's not too bad. We could maybe drop another one up over here at some point if we needed to, but this should give us a pretty good start for our city. Let's, uh, we'll face this one that way. And then before I forget, let's dezone so we don't get any really small buildings over here. We'll deselect that. So what, I, there's two ways to do this. So you can go to the dezone tool and highlight an area. Or if you're on console and you use the X button on Xbox or the square button on PS, apologies for not knowing my Switch buttons, even though I do own the Switch version, um, I play it the least. So uh, that's how you can also dezone with the same uh, item. So like I have right here, residential selected in the toolbar, but if I hold that X button, it lets me deselect instead of painting that district type. So it looks like we haven't done water all the way down here in our grid. So let's get that fixed before people complain too much and move out. Get that all nice and covered all the way down there. And then we'll extend it across the street here. Good enough to get us started there. We've got a business that has moved out. We'll demo that. These are complaining about not enough customers. So if you click on the inspector tool and click on a building, it'll tell you what the problem is. Not enough educated workers. Sorry, my apologies. Um, the uh, the tie, the business suit there. I, I didn't notice. Got my uh, pop-ups mixed up for a second. So we are working on that. We're educating everyone as best we can right now. If we look at Info views and education, plenty of availability in uh, elementary. We are starting to run out of uh, availability in high school though. So let's get a second high school in here. And let me double check my street count again. So we're this is gonna be a six lane avenue. So we're gonna do eight streets. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's do two more blocks of two lane road side streets. And we've got enough money, we could probably start to do our uh, six-lane road crossover streets. This last one looks like it's going to have to be angled a bit as we cut up from the water, and that is okay. We're going to do 12 units here, because... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. When we do this, it's going to eat up a little bit more zoning space. So we'll go to like here and kind of connect that at a 45 degree angle. That'll kind of run along the uh, the outer edge. I was going to say we'll eventually upgrade this, but we've got the money and we're going to move people out. So let's just do it now. What does it not? Oh, it's an elementary school there. So let's move that in one unit. Did I not move that? Oh, let's just move it right there. We can fix it after. <laughs> so let's upgrade that. And that is right up to the edge of the property. Okay. We're good there. Let's fix our zoning. Go to our fill tool. Patch all this back up. We made some uh, some holes in our zoning doing that. That looks okay. We'll fill this in. We'll double check our water. Should be good for a little bit. Let's go over to our marquee or our selection tool and do four units on either side of this road. Continuing our theory of doing commercial kind of along the main avenues. Now we don't, again, have enough educated workers yet. We're working on that right now by finding a spot for our second high school. 
We're going to space it out a bit from the first one so that it covers as much as we can. Do a little waterfront property right there. Hopefully not too close to the water that that floods. It, water's getting a little crazy over here. That is... That is not how water works. So maybe we can smooth that out a bit down the road. Getting some notifications about electricity. Let's double check our budget, which is at 90% right now. Let's bump it up to 100. We're going to need a lot of coal plants to get us uh, to where we want to get to. And check our water coverage, which is nowhere near where it needs to be. We'll do those $440 gaps to get us all nicely covered down our grid. Maybe we could look at buying the tile to the left or to the west. And start to expand this grid out towards the uh, the mountain there. Might be nice. So it's going to be a little bit of hill here. It's not as flat as uh, as Manhattan is. And we might smooth that out just a little bit. We can kind of build up to the base of those hills. But as you can see here, there's some, there's some mounding. There's uh, some ups and downs, which is okay. We're kind of stylizing this one after Manhattan. It doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be flat. And uh, and whatever you do with your city, you know, it's it's your city. It's up to you. What uh, what looks and feels right is going to vary from person to person. So this one will continue our six lane avenues. Just for future expansion, that's going to be kind of our major grid through the city. And I want to, I'll do a count and I'll kind of probably split this down the middle. So we'll have this one kind of running north, this one running south, this one running both ways, running north, running south, just alternating that way. And then all these are going to be alternating east to west, west to east, two way streets. Now this could kind of be a central commercial block for now. Oh, before I forget, because what were we doing? We were trying to fix some of the education problems here. I already forgot. We're trying to increase our high school availability and capacity. So there we go. We don't have power there yet, but that should spread quick enough. Should be no time before enough people have moved in. Now we do need more industrial area there's demand for it we could do some forestry if we wanted to looks like we could support that okay uh let's do this because i'm i'm remembering now i think we forgot about a policy that we now have access to we do i always forget to turn that one on uh recycling we'll throw on recreational use to generate some extra revenue and we'll recycle plastic now i did want to throw in where is it? I think I even mentioned it at the end of the last episode and I forgot. Paradox Plaza. Let's go ahead and throw this thing in here. No, no negative bubble from this one. Just all out happiness increase. So let's try and find a good spot kind of in the center of our residential area that we can hopefully impact as many people as possible with this one. And we'll throw it right there and watch that happiness spread. Everyone loves a nice Paradox Plaza there. Place for the gamers to come and gather and talk. Hopefully we'll see some people congregating there soon enough. Milestones wise, the next one is at 5,000. We do have bus and taxi as an option, but I'm not going to set those up just yet because we're going to do some major modifications to our roads. When I want to start thinking about all the transport routes is at 8,000 population. That's when we get our IT cluster, office specialization. We also get high density residential and commercial as well as the office zones. We'll get our university. We will have we have our metro by then, or is that the one after? Where is Metro? Metro's at 8,000. Okay, so we're not that far off. So 5,000 is our next big bump. And uh let's time lapse this because we're in pretty good spot actually you know what i take it back areas let's buy this one on the left let's expand our industry out a bit since there is so much demand for it we're okay polluting for now 
This is not going to be where our industry eventually rests. I think we're going to put it maybe up to the north, maybe even up on the other side of this mountain, kind of up on the river. It looks like that bubble in the water is is moving down as things start to settle. Looks like we may have to worry about some flooding down here, so we'll we'll look at that because that is a very low coastline that that we don't want to uh, to flood our town if we get a little crazy with the uh, the landscaping tool. Let's check our water. Let's check our budget. So we'll knock that up to 100%. Water's good for a while. Electricity we will have to worry about in a minute. But let's expand our industry out for now. So we will break out our two-lane roads. And what did we do here? We did 20 units, $800. Yep. So we'll just do this on the other side for now. Expand this out kind of like a grid. Or not kind of like a grid, exactly like a grid. And that will be good to get us going. What is this? This is the other fire department that we built. Let's move that so that we can keep our grid structure intact here. Move a couple businesses out, but there is a lot of industrial demand, so that should move right back in, no problem. So over here on our fill tool, we'll just zone that all back off. We get a little bit of that industrial demand, not all of it, but it's okay to have a little bit of that as we eventually unlock the, uh, the office space because that can also be met, that industrial demand can also be met with, with office space. Let's extend these out just a little bit because it looks like we're not covering quite all the way on our coast there. Now we should be good. Double check our zoning again. We'll fill in these blocks here. And then I wanna see we might extend this out another 10 units before we do another avenue up through there. But let's let's do some testing here. So we'll come down another 12 units because it's bordering a six lane road this way. We're going to do 12 units. And then let's see what our zoning looks like. So we could do another avenue right here. Or I'm thinking that going to be spaced out a little bit better. Let's see what four looks like this way. That's pretty close to the center of the block. Let's see how close we are, actually. So that is $1,400 from here to here, right? $1,600. So I'm glad I double-checked that. From there to there, $1,600. And from there to there... 2,000, it's a little off-center. Sixteen eighty. Fifteen sixty. I can deal with that. That's pretty good. So we'll do another avenue right through there. Okay, let's see what our problems are here. It is electric availability and our electric budget is already up all the way. So it is time for a third power plant. Crazy how fast these coal power plants get used up, but we've got enough room there to get three more in on that block. We could put some more in over on this block if we wanted to. Let's see if that power connects. It does, so that spreads just fine. That will power our water pumps but we do need more water pumps, so let's get on that now. This should actually clamp on. Excellent. And we'll throw another sewage pipe over here. Again, I think that will clamp on. Okay, let's bring our water view up and see if those buildings both become active. They did. So our water is way in the green now. And we should be able to jump back into our economy and back that down. Let's go to 70% uh, to start to see where that puts us. Let's do 75%. See where that puts us. We want to keep things in the green. I don't want to have to micromanage it every two minutes, so... 
Let's bring water over here because we didn't water these industrial buildings very well. And we're trying to get to 5,000. We are almost there. There's somebody, though, that would like to say hello. Recently displaced from uh, the town of Santa Rico. This is uh, the local mascot that has uh, just moved into Springdale. Springdale Hill Cougar. It looks like the Hill Cougar parked this car. Shouldn't, shouldn't be driving Hill Cougar. You only have your permit. Uh, I did notice one thing. This is not available in uh, the, the previous map we were on, so apparently it is related to... Apparently it is related to the uh, the type of map you were on. It is a jumper. Crossing in traffic. We've got a nice deer here. This is actually the town's official mascot. The Springdale deer. Springdale doe? Springdale doe. If we get up on that roof, that would be awesome. Okay, we can't. Alright, so they will both be making a return. Maybe our next city will have a, uh, a seagull mascot. A seagull can hop up there, no problem, right? Okay, now that's how we get up on the roof as a deer. You transform into a, a seagull. We jump from roof to roof. Man, this thing has ups. Crazy. All right. So let's see where our population is at. We've met our uh, official town mascots. A little fire happening over here. Oh, no. Somebody burned their noodles. Dia, were you cooking, uh, were you cooking noodles up? Might have been. It's all right. The fire's out. We're not going to blame anybody. Just be careful next time. But I think that's a pretty good spot to end episode two today. We'll pick up uh, right where we left off uh, on episode three. I'm kind of settling into a, a new schedule this month. It feels a little weird not uploading every day. Um, but I also want to make it kind of consumable for everybody. I know it's a lot to ask that uh, you tune in every day. And, and many of you do, and I really appreciate that. But I don't want you to get burnt out on the channel. I also have a very busy month at, uh, at work this month. So... I'm going to settle into a schedule that I think should work for me and hopefully works for you. We're going to upload new Let's Plays uh, of this city every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And then I'm hoping to do a live build Let's Play uh, stream, hopefully Sunday night. I'm thinking maybe 9 o'clock Eastern Time. I don't know if that'll work for everybody. It works pretty good for my schedule. Uh, but we'll start a completely separate city in that series and build it based on your feedback. So if you're able to tune in, check it out. I'll also have that up on demand, though, if you want to watch back after and see what's happening there. But uh, I really want to continue to to do this city because uh, I've got some big plans for it in the future. Um, and, uh, and we're really going to stamp out this grid some more. So I know it's a little slow going, but I uh, appreciate you sticking with me as we uh, continue to build this out. And, uh, and hopefully the end result is going to be well worth it. But uh, until the next one, if you did enjoy the video, likes, comments, shares, all help the channel and are greatly appreciated. If you're new here, subscribe, hit the bell to get notifications. And until the next one, this is Move the Mouse, signing off.